Good evening. Once again, it's time for another episode of Vestin's Storybook Theater. And here is your host, Vestin Bruno. Hello, I'm Mr. Bruno. Welcome to Vestin's Storybook Theater, home of children's stories. Tonight, I'm proud to present a Halloween story called A Halloween Scare in Minnesota. It's all about uh, a scare in Minnesota, which is my hometown. And now, a Halloween scare in Minnesota. A Halloween scare in Minnesota was, was written by Eric James, and the pictures were drawn by Maria by Marina Loretti. Prepare, if you dare, for a night full of thrills. The time Minnesota gave everyone shills. A tale filled with sights that are the best left unseen. You ready? You sure? This was my Halloween. The werewolves howled loudly. The moon shined so bright. I stayed in my bedroom. The curtains shut tight. My heart started pounding. My knees felt so weak. But being a brave kid, I just had to peek. I pulled back the curtains. My mouth opened wide. An army of monsters had gathered outside. They staggered and stumbled and lur lurched down the streets with, with bags full of cookies and candy corn treats. Emerging from sewers and houses and stores came creatures and critters with ravenous roars. Then more came along from all over the state. They filled up the streets with a dizzying rate. From Bloomington, Laymouth, Duluth, and St. Paul, the big and the little, the, and the tall and the small, they gathered together for one spooky night to seek out the living and give them a fright. The thunder clapped loudly with terrible booms. The witches dodged lightning and, cl and clung to their, to their brooms. The two-headed doggies tried taste chasing their tails. The banshees let loose with their hideous wails. The vampires hung out on the streets in, the, in their gangs and grinned just to show off their pearly white fangs. The mummies who moaned loudly and swayed side to side, while Frankenstein stumped about town with his bride. The Vikings rose up from the, uh, from the frostbitten ground to pillage and plunder and rampage through town. While smelling the lurisk and dizzy with drink, they tried to cause trouble but just caused a stink. The starving young ogres who wandered the plains came looking for food as they had hunger pains. They climbed up the red pines and that hit out of view. They jump down and scare passers-by with a BOO! The creepers were crawly, the crazies were crazed, the Rochester zombies had eyes that were glazed, the ogres from Moorhead were ugly as sin, with big, with big bulging noses and warts on their chin. The ghouls, uh, they danced around but were, were lacking in soul. The gargoyles could rock and the headless could roll. Although the whole spectacle seemed to spell, de spell doom, I foolishly thought I'd be safe in my room. But then something happened that made my heart jump. From somewhere below, I heard a big thump. I froze for a moment as quiet as a mouse. Yes, I could hear noises from inside the house. I put on my slippers. I put on my robe. I shook like a leaf, but I don't think it showed. Then, slowly but surely, I crept down the stairs, preparing myself for the biggest of scares. My hands trembled wildly. I opened the door. I still shuddered now at the horrors I saw. At the horrors I saw, the horrors spat out some hideous sounds. The stereo spat some hideous sounds as dozens of monsters jumped madly around. The sight was horrific. It made my skin crawl. These monsters were having their Halloween ball. And right in the middle, one monster loomed tall. The hairiest, scariest monster of all. He turned around and saw me. I fell to my knees. I'm not very tasty, so don't eat me, please. He beamed ear to ear and broke free from the, ha from the huddle. Ran over and gave me a big monster cuddle. At last, we have found you, he said with a smile. From Marshall to Hipping, we looked for a while. We came here to give you your wonderful prize. He held up a trophy in front of my eyes. A prize? And for me? I replied with a grin. But what did I 
I enter, and how did I win? You won the first prize for the costume you're wearing, and even scares me, and I'm tip top at scaring. This isn't a costume, I'm just dressed as me. Exactly, the scariest thing you could be. A small human child with a cute button nose. Your teeth are so shiny, you've only ten toes. No hair on your face and no horns on your head. The whites of your eyes are not glowing or red. A bone-chilling costume, a horrible sight. A worthy assemble for a Halloween night. We partied together until the moon set. A Halloween night that I'll never forget. Then next year, I won't want to hide from them in my bed. The monsters won't scare me. I'll scare them instead. And so ends our story. Wasn't that spectacular? I'm not sure if there's an actual scare in Minnesota, but until next time, I, Professor Bruno, am saying good night, Preston Storybook Theater.